All right, so welcome back. Uh, last video, uh, we figured out um, there's gonna, or I figured out that there's gonna be need, gonna need to be one more video in this topic. Um, so I don't remember exactly why, but uh, we'll look into that um, and try to figure it out. So um, let's pull up uh, my Google Drive with all my notes which is in the wrong account. It needs to be in the other account, but I'm not quite sure how to do that yet. Okay, so we're still focusing on traffic engineering, but we've moved on to administrative groups. And uh, we finished uh, the second video last time, so we're gonna have one more video. I forget exactly why but hopefully we'll figure that out. I'm going to make sure I uploaded the last video, so I'll be going to YouTube, uh, switching over to this channel. This is another reason why I need my... Um, oh, up to 44, wow, quite an increase. Thank you, everybody. So next one um, is going to be... Um, uh, the second video in here, so let's see if we've got a uh, number two. Perfect. Okay, so um, so I believe the reason I wanted one more video on this topic was because I did not get through all of the basic configuration. The LSP wasn't coming up, something like that. So I'm going to open up the lab and take a look. Okay, and hopefully the LSP is up. Okay, so here's the console line. Oops. Okay, so I see the LSP configured. Oh, I see. So the reason I wanted to uh, go into another video is because I wanted to find a way to switch the path over. Um, let's do a show MPLS LSP detail. So, oh. Wait, let, let me, I think what I'm going to do is watch the last few minutes of, of the last video I uploaded just to, to remember uh, it. And then, um, and then, yeah, so, so the last few minutes of here, we'll see what I did. We'll, we'll see, see that the, the, oh god, what the hell? Oh, you know what? It's probably going to recalculate. Uh, okay, we've got to exclude silver, but yeah, it didn't, it didn't recalculate. So let me try pinging it one more time. Maybe it has recalculated. Okay, it looks like it didn't recalculate. So I'm going to do clear MPLS LSP uh, all. Uh, and then uh, let's see if... Uh, it's up, so right now it's down, so we're gonna need to, okay, now it's up, so, no, we still got ICMP traffic. Okay, I'm going over this link. Um, okay, well, you know what, I gotta bite the bullet and do uh, one more video on it. Okay, so that, that makes sense. So where, where I left off, I was, yep, exactly as, as I thought, um, I was trying to, um, uh, get it to switch over just based on the admin group the port belonged to but I had problems doing that so let's get that same screen up that I was looking at before so we're going to be looking at the link here and uh, the idea is we'll stop seeing ICMP traffic going over that link
So right now we're going to have plenty of it. Just because it's not set up the way I thought it would be. So yep, there's plenty of ICMP traffic. Okay, so next up is going to be um, changing here. So exclude silver. Ah, okay. So so let's think about the um, reasoning I used. So the reasoning I had, um, and I'm just going to remove that interface all statement just because it's it's extra. Okay, and then I might need to add the protocols, PLS interface, the loopback interface, so I'll do that. Um, this is going to make it a little bit easier, I think, to look at. And then I'm kind of worried that by having all, it like overwrites this config. Um, but as you can see, that's, that's a false concern because it's very clearly behaving the same way even though I made some changes. Okay, but you can see what my logic was here. We've got um, 0, 0, 0, which is uh, this link up here. Um, yep, so ETH2, 2, 2, 1, 0, that, that's how this works. Um, so it would be going over here if it were working as I thought it would work. Um, and you can see the logic I used. I went here and then I said admin group exclude silver. So this was assigned the admin group silver. So basically what I wanted to say is don't send any traffic out this port, only send it out this port here. Um, but clearly there was a, a pretty big flaw with my understanding of how that worked. Okay, so there's the exclude silver, so let's do delete exclude okay so now let's do a set um, so exclude groups all of which must be absent exclude groups include groups okay let's just do an include on the gold and see if that works so we're going to include um, okay so let me so this this is this is pretty confusing language but I think I understand it now so I'm going to explain uh, what it means but that after I commit it I will explain Okay, so now I'll pull up Microsoft Paint and explain the verbiage there. So we've got these terms include all and include any. So let's say we have um, things we want to include. Let's say we have uh, four things. Now we're, so, so now we've got two variations here. We've got dash all and dash any. So let's say we have another thing here, and we're going to include, oops, I need the select tool, ah, here it is. So we're going to include these things into that thing. So we've got two options for doing that. Um, the first option is we can include
include all Okay. But if we've got an issue where the things included here, which are going to be the bit marking, or, or this, this is called on here, but it, it's not actually defined, then it's going to fail. Or we can put in some kind of robustness so that if these are just dead groups that aren't configured anymore, or we didn't set a marking on them, it won't throw an error, it'll still allow it, it just won't use the configuration. So I'm gonna demonstrate that. Uh, before I do that, I'm gonna see if we still got uh, ICMP traffic, I'm just curious about that. Oh, so I think the bug happened. Um, so I will take care of that. Okay, yep, so we still got ICMP um, just as I thought. But I believe I can trigger some error messages that should be interesting or at least help with understanding these concepts by going into label switch path and then to R5. And now we've got admin group include all gold. Gold is uh, defined uh, here. You can see it's got the value of one. But if I go set admin group include all fools gold, I should have an error because I'm including all and fools gold is not defined. But if I go back, And I, instead of doing a include all, I do an include any. Um, and let me make this a bit more clear here. So um, the proper way to do this is, um, so now that I've blanked it out, it's going to be set include all gold fools gold. So that's the proper way to do it. Same deal eventually, but now these are, these are um, the configuration is going to be easier to understand. And it won't have unintended effects. Okay, so let's take a look at what's on there right now. Same. Oh, and you can see just doing this makes it be like that anyway. So it's the same config. But I think when you configure it, this is a, a bit easier to understand. But let's clear that out, and then we're going to add it back in. But instead of include all, we're going to do include any. And hopefully, oh, oh, oh. Okay, so I guess I'm still not understanding how this works. Um, so let's go back to the documentation and see if there's something I can uh, follow along. Oh, you know what? I might have had to clear the RSVP session. Oh, 
gotta choose which one to clear. All of them. Okay, there's still ICMP, so that didn't work. But, oh, didn't I strip it off though? No, I, so I made it so that, I and I can make it even more clear by doing a trace route. Um, because you can see when I do that, um, oh, right, it's a, it's an LSP, so, no, no, yeah, yeah, okay, so it did work as I intended, so that'll switch over to dot two dot two, if I get this to work as I believe it will. But it could be, of course, very possible that the way it does work is just completely different than how I had imagined it working. Okay, so let's see what happens if I do an exclude silver on there. And I have a feeling there won't be any changes to the trace route. Oh, uh, but it could just be because I didn't clear the RSVP session. So let's do that and then try it again. Okay, now let's see if we've got a different trace route. And it should take a little bit of extra time now because it's got to rebuild that RSVP session. Nope, so we got the same results. So yeah, I guess, I guess I'm guess i not sure how to use admin groups to uh, have it use, go through a different path. Um, luckily I've got, I've got lots of time, so let's figure this out. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is just read that whole section out loud. Hopefully, I just missed something. So, let's see here. Configuring admin groups for LSPs. Yep, this looks good. Configuring administrative groups for LSPs. Administrative groups, also known as link coloring or resource class, are manually assigned attributes that describe the color of links such that links with the same color conceptually belong to the same class. You can use administrative groups to implement a variety of policy-based LSP setups. Administrative groups are meaningful only when constrained path LSP computation is enabled. I believe I do have that enabled. You can assign up to 32 names and values in the range 0 through 31. Oh, it could be that actually I don't have traffic engineering enabled, but I thought I thought I I had demonstrated that the LSB couldn't come up at all until I enabled that. Yeah, that is what I did, and then I added it, and the LSP came up. You can assign up to 32 names and values in the range 0 through 31, which define a series of names and their corresponding values. The administrative names and values must be identical across all routers within a single domain. Note, the administrative value is distinct from the priority. You can configure the priority for an LSP using the priority statement. To configure administrative groups, follow these steps. 
Number one, define multiple levels of service quality by including the admin group's statement. You can include this statement at the following hierarchy levels. The following configuration example illustrates how you might configure a set of administrative names and values for a domain. All right. Define the administrative groups to which an interface belongs. You can assign multiple groups to an interface. Include the interface statement. You can include this statement at the following hierarchy levels. If you do not include the admin group statement, an interface does not belong to any group. IGPs use the group information to build link state packets, which are then flooded throughout the network, providing information to all nodes in the network. At any router, the IGP topology, as well as administrative groups of all the links, is available. Changing the interface's administrative group affects only new LSPs. Existing LSPs on the interface are not preempted or recomputed to keep the network stable. If LSPs need to be removed because of a group change, issue the clear RSVP session. When configuring administrative groups and extended administrative groups together for a link, both the types of administrative groups must be configured on the interface. Configure an administrative group constraint for each LSP or for each primary or secondary LSP path. Include label switch path statement. So I guess one thing I can try is to do it for the primary. You can include the label switch path statement at the following hierarchy levels. In the protocols of PLS, if you omit the include all, include any, or exclude statements, the path computation proceeds unchanged. The path computation is based on the constrained path LSP computation. For information about how the constrained path LSP computation is calculated, see how CSPF selects a path. Note, changing the LSP's administrative group causes an immediate recomputation of the route. Therefore, the LSP might be rerouted. I mean, that's what I want. I, I don't understand why it's not um, doing that. So this is always a good one. I've read this uh, many times before, um, but I'm gonna just add it to the notes for this video because I think it's relevant. Uh, I'm gonna poke around a bit on the lab, add it under the um, primary section. And if I'm stuck, I think it'll be very relevant to go back and read um, how CSPF selects a path because it's, it's pretty clear that it's selecting the incorrect path right now. And uh, we can see that, that those statements that I'm adding are going to affect it in some way, uh, just not in the way that I'm expecting it to be affected currently. So to update my knowledge on that, reread that, that's gonna be absolutely critical. But uh, before I do that, I just wanna kind of experiment a little. Okay, so let's do a show MPLS LSP detail um, and see if we've got any, aha, so yeah, we can see this is the primary path. So perhaps I, um, I'm not getting the result I want because it's just not applying it to anything because it's not being applied to the primary path. Okay, so now we've got the admin group deleted, so we should have only one statement here. Yep, we've got the two. So now instead of adding the admin group just to the LSP without any further specification, we're gonna add it to the primary path. Oops. Uh, oh. 
I don't know the name of the... I don't know the name of it. Um, well, let's see if it does have a name. Oh, you know what? It's... I thought it was... Well, let's see what the name of it is. Oh, LSB detail. So I'm not sure that it has a name. I guess I want to say that this is the name. Um, oh, no, 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 no. So this is the LSP name, but I don't know if they're looking for that or if they're looking for the name of the path. Um, let's see if there's an example. Ah, so this is interesting. It looks like they're not expecting that to be... Uh, oh, no, I see it down here. Okay, so yep, it, it's the path name, which is going to be different from the LSP name. So I think the path name is going to be here. And the reason I think that is because if I do a run show MPLS LSP, um, and then I do uh, path, or... or, or um, uh, Maybe name. So that's the LSP name. Maybe I can. Okay, no, no, no hits there. Okay, but let's just try, um, try it this way. So we're gonna do uh, instead of set, we're gonna do edit. Okay, and now we're gonna do edit admin groups. And then we're gonna do set, uh, uh, and then we're gonna exclude uh, silver. Perfect, okay. So hopefully, um, yep, so we're no longer applying it to the whole LSP, we're just applying it to the primary. Um, I believe the name of the path is this, because uh, it appears to be the case when I do a show run or run show MPLS LSP detail. So I believe that's the name of the path. We can see the name of the LSP, but the name of the path is going to be different than the name of the LSP. Let's try um, a pipe match ATH. So this is the only time the word path appears here. Um, and uh, I don't think this is the, the name. So let's do a show pipe compare. Okay, and then uh, hopefully this will do it. We'll probably need to clear out the RSVP calculation. So clear RSVP um, session all. Okay, and now let's try the trace route. So it'll take a little bit longer because it's got to recalculate, but hopefully it shows 2.2 instead of 1.2 this time. So it still shows 1.2, so I'm really not sure what's going on. Let's read that documentation about how CSPF selects a path, and hopefully there'll be answers in there. Okay, so this is how CSPF selects a path. To select a path, CSPF follows certain rules. The rules are as follows. Number one, computes LSPs one at a time, beginning with the highest priority LSP, the one with the lowest setup priority value. Among LSPs of equal priority, CSPF services the LSPs in alphabetical order of the LSP name. So we don't need to worry about this one because we've only got one LSP. Not only that, this looks like it's not really about selecting a path, it's about which LSP has their path determined first. 
Okay, so, so number one, I think, officially starts here. And uh, how CSPF selects a path is it prunes the traffic engineering database of all the links that are not full duplex and do not have sufficient reservable bandwidth. Okay, so that could be the problem. Well, maybe the links I've got here um, in my lab, uh, this link here and this link here, maybe they're down and uh, the reason it's not switching over is it, it got pruned from the calculations. So let's take a look at the traffic engineering database. Okay, so here's the, oops, so what is it, what is it, I forget. Oh, how do I, how do I check traffic engineering? I forget. It's got to be like MPLS, right? Um, ah, I used to some really good commands in the past that uh, I forget how to use again. Um. CSPF detail, maybe? Uh, path? Um, okay, well, I don't know. I don't know how to do this. Um, so let me try to find um, a command that I used in the past. So hopefully it's linked. So we've got. So I think it's going to be in, in a prior topic. Ah, so of course, it's going to be in the traffic engineering database topic. So yeah, there'll be some good commands in here that I can use. Okay, so this is... So hopefully in the verification section, which is here, we'll get some commands to check the uh, the traffic engineering database. Aha, here it is, show TED database. That's exactly what I was looking for. Okay, and let's see if that uh, 2.1 shows up. Oops. Okay, so here we do have um, 2.2. Let's take a look at um, a path to the loopback on Rudder 5. Okay, so we can see something um, here for, for that. Why is there nothing to Rudder 3? Oh, no, we do. We do have, uh, if I were to do a pipe match, 10, uh, 255.0. Um, yep, yeah, we've got it through uh, one, two, uh, and let's do another match for to make it a little cleaner. Okay, yeah, we see we've got a, an entry for all five. Um, but it looks like the fifth has has some numbers that are lower. I'm not sure what those numbers are. Oh, links in, link out, link in, link out. So there's only one. That's surprising because this is the farthest away. Oh, no, you know what? That's not surprising. I guess it's surprising. Oh, okay. So th this, is, this is what this means. So links included in these calculations on, on this router here we're looking at 
there's only one link right here. This router here, we've got three links. One, two, three. Yep. So those are the links that are included, and they're included for both ingress and egress calculations, it look like looks like. That's okay, that makes a lot of sense. Um hmm, okay. Yeah, and it looks like the, these calculations aren't, like it's not, it's not from this to that, it's just, uh, it's just information about, uh, about the links, not, not necessarily a path through the links. That's kind of what I thought uh, was listed here. Okay. So we can see dot five here only has inf one one piece of information. That's because there's only one link. Okay, but I think it's a good thing to to just verify. Uh, so terse. So uh, let's do a description. Uh, let's do a terse. G dash. Okay, so these these are up. Um, but I think this is going to be good to verify on uh, the other routers. Because there might be an issue with these links not being up, and that would affect the ability to have it swing over. Nope, so it looks like it's up. I mean, if it's missing traffic engineering command, that would affect it as well. So let's check that. Yep, it's got that too. So I think this bulletin here prunes traffic engineering database of all the links that are not full duplex and do not have sufficient reservable bandwidth. That's not why it, it's refusing to switch over. And in fact, if we look at the traffic engineering database again through that command, show TED, and then, and then I believe it needs, ah, What do we get for the link? Oh, okay, yeah. So, so here, here, this, this is actually I like a little bit better than, uh, than the full database. Um, I'm kind of curious just to run the other one too. Okay, yeah. So everything's learned through OSPF, but um, you can see database just has extra information. It looks like it, it's, it still has the same information that's in. Link, it's just Link is, is a, a tidier version of it. But you can see that this two, uh, dot two, uh, and then of course dot one, it's giving you both, um, yeah, and, and of course it's, it's learning it from two different uh, routers because each router has a port uh, configured on that subnet. So you're gonna have essentially a duplicate entry for that, but you can see very clearly that is in the database. It hasn't been pruned. Uh, let's quick check that on the other one as well before moving on. So I, I forget which, um, um, which subnet is configured on that. Okay, so we, we verified dot two, so it's gonna be dot four. Yep, and here it is, we've got uh, an entry in the traffic engineering database. So the second criteria for selecting a CSPF path is not why it refuses to switch over. So the third one is if the LSP configuration includes the include statement, prunes all links that do not share any included colors. 
Okay, so let's let's think about it about what my statement is on there right now, and let's see if it might need to be modified based on uh, how the the definition of that include statement uh, versus what I thought it to mean. Oops, uh, and I'm forgetting the relative, it's my favorite knob. Okay, and then I need to, oh, I did. I don't think it needs to be under primary, so I'm gonna delete that. Oh, uh, there we go. Perfect. Um, okay, so now I'll do a set admin group so it almost seems like include basically means, oh, so it seems like I had it right, um, but let's try it with include, and we're gonna do include um, all, and then we'll do gold. We don't want it to use silver, so we're only gonna include it if it has gold. And we'll do a show pipe compare, make sure everything's all set and uh, that looks good so now we'll clear RSVP sessions all and then what we'll do is um, uh, a trace route okay and we see it did not switch over so let's continue learning about how CSPF selects a path. Okay, so it should have pruned the links that do not share uh, the included uh, colors. So if we look at our traffic engineering database again, This link should have been pruned. Now, I don't think it's gonna be pruned from the full database itself, but I do think it would have been pruned from the LSP calculation. So I wish there was like a version of this command here I could use just to see the LSP. So let's do show MPLS LSP and Let's see if there's a, a command similar to this where I can see which links were used in the calculation. And we'll see if this dot one dot two was pruned. Or at the very least, we'll hopefully see if that's a gold, silver, bronze, or best effort link. Okay, so let's try detail. Oh, that's interesting. Why can't it, why is it completely failing now? That's interesting. I wonder if it's because it's not matching the um, the OSPF. Like, like if, I wonder if I if I do, do a set interface GE 000 disable commit. I wonder if it will come up then because it will it will match the calculation made by OSPF.
Okay, well that wasn't... That didn't happen. Okay. Um... Yeah, so it looks like it's, it's kind of a, a different issue. It's, it's not necessarily that. So, let's see here. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Um, I don't know why it's not um, switching over to use the gold path. Um, I mean, I do know why. It's, it's because there's no route toward this, but there is a route towards that. If I do exit, show route, I have a OSPF route towards it. Um, now, maybe the reason there's no route towards it is because but the thing is, remember when I when I shut this down, uh, there were no changes. It still thought it didn't have a route. Um, let me try that one more time, actually. Okay, so now we'll see only one. And it might be that uh, it's got to... It's got to recalculate the actual RSVP. Perfect, okay. Nope. Now, the other thing I noticed is it doesn't have a from, but you can see very clearly uh, there's a, a pretty serious problem. Let's add some uh, trace route options for CSPF. Ah, and it looks like I've already got them set up, so I can just start monitoring that. And uh, we should see a message once it recalculates, which it takes about 30 seconds. So hopefully there's one coming up soon. I think I'll just wait until it pops up. Because I just want to see that. I mean, I guess I guess if there's repeating messages, sometimes it suppresses them, so. And then of course I don't know what flags were, were turned on. And then of course, just because the file's there doesn't mean that I'm actually writing to it, so. Let's do a monitor stop, configure private, edit protocols MPLS, set trace options, file. And it's going to be CSPF tissue, set trace options flag, uh, and then, uh, yeah, so we'll do we'll do everything that says CSPF. So we'll do CSPF, CSPF abstract, um, CFPF link, CSPF node. I think that's all that's going to be necessary. Okay, so monitor start, CSPF, T-shoot, perfect. So let's see what we got, hopefully, because it is, it is Oh, but the thing is, there's no there's no route, so it's not. Oh no, it is, it is, it is. Okay. Yeah, but it, it doesn't need to do it because there's there's been no changes. Um. 
So I think what might be interesting is to bring that port up and, and see what we get. So we're going to do delete int 000.00 disable. Show pipe compare, make sure everything's good. OK. And then let's see what we get for messages. Now, there is going to be a change in the traffic engineering database, so we should see the screen light up shortly. Um, but it's going to take, I think, about 30 seconds because it, it doesn't try to update it until then. Now, you can, of course, make that happen faster. That would actually be a pretty good strategy for the test because I don't want to sit for 30 seconds and, and waste time. Um, even though there is six hours to take the test, time can be pretty precious. Okay, so this is what I uh, expected to see. Oh, and we can see it says that it is done. So let's grab this. But more interesting than this, I believe, will be what happens when I bring the link down because we can see why it did not find a path. Okay, so I've got Notepad++ open on my other screen, but I've got a bunch of extra tabs open, so I am closing them now. Okay, so let's... Okay, so we've got, we've got everything good to go here. So now what we're going to do is shut this down. Okay, and hopefully we'll see the screen light up again, but it will give us information that's more relevant. I've only got like three minutes, but that'll be all I need. I think I can take an L on this one. I, I kind of I understand how admin groups work. They're really not that complicated in my mind. What's more complicated is CSPF computation, and we can see that is in fact the issue that I'm having, not necessarily an issue with the admin groups. Perfect. So let's wait for that done message. Okay, we got it. So let's um, uh, change that or, or put it in here. Okay, so now we can see already CSPF couldn't find a route to 10.255.0.5, um, which is interesting because if I go back to the CLI and I don't need these messages anymore and I ping, 10.255.0.5, we've got a route, there's no doubt about that. If I um, look at the route table, we've got a route, no doubt about that as well. Um, let's see if, um, now the even more unusual thing is if I bring up that, um, that port again um, yeah I guess I'm interested in seeing what the difference is if I bring up those port that port um, between all of these because it does have a route if I bring up that port. So let's let's try that. We're gonna bring that port back up. The LSP will be up, and we'll see what kind of differences we're getting. Okay, so show route ten dot two five five dot zero dot five. Oops, still don't have it yet. Okay, now we got it. So we'll do that, and then we'll do show MPLS LS, or show uh, TED link, uh, show TED database, 
Okay, so we do have some extra stuff in here, but it's it's for that other side. So I think these are the only ones I need. Okay, so we've got it just to got it. Let's do a show and peel SLSP as well. Oops, um, oh, that's interesting. So it looks like it's still down. I thought it would come up, but maybe it just takes a little bit longer. I mean, that could be it for the other one too. I think there's like, actually, to be honest, I think there's like a 15 minute threshold that's set by default, if I remember my earlier things. Um, let's take a look at that. So edit protocols, MPLS, set, uh, let's do a edit LSP. Yeah. Okay, and then we're gonna do a set Oh, I guess that could be it. Adaptive, that could help. Let's try that. Okay, and now let's see if we can set... Uh, yeah, so it looks like we've got some timers here. So let's set the retry timer. Okay, and let's set that to uh, five seconds. Okay, and let's see if, if this is gonna make things better. Okay, so I ran out of time. Uh, I'm gonna have to take the L on this one, unfortunately. Um, I wasn't able to, to get the LSP to behave the way I expected it would, but this was about admin groups, it wasn't about LSPs, and I'm pretty comfortable with how the admin group command works, so I think I'm gonna mark this down as done. Uh, even though it is not working the way I expect and uh, Hopefully the next section on EROs because I know EROs are pretty critical for forming LSPs Will clarify everything and I can get everything up and working at that time. So stay tuned for that and thanks for watching